Video from the edge of space. Uh, the company Virgin Galactic took commercial space travel to a whole new level today. KPI X5's Alan Martin is here now with this groundbreaking, space shattering mission. <laughs> it's pretty this cool. is cool. This the is edge where. Edge of space. Yeah, we, we like knew they'd get there eventually, yeah, right? We're there, apparently. An aircraft carrying the Virgin Spaceship 2 took off from our Mojave Desert this morning, carrying two test pilots out of the discernible atmosphere. At 45,000 feet, the aircraft released the Spaceship 2, which rocketed more than 51 miles above the Earth. On board, two test pilots and a mannequin representing a future passenger. It landed safely minutes later. Virgin Galactic founder Richard Branson talked about it after the launch. I'm really hopeful that a lot of people watching your program uh, one day will be able to go to space. Um, and that's our aim, is to try to make it safe and affordable for as many people as possible. Branson is competing with fellow billionaires Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk in the race to get tourists to space. More than 600 people have signed up to fly Virgin Galactic. The rides are priced at about $250,000. Branson says he wants to be one of the first to go. I'm itching to go. My guess is within six months, and, and I think I can pretty confidently say that today. The successful launch comes four years after an earlier craft crash during a test flight, killing one pilot and injuring the other. The pilots of this flight, including former NASA astronaut Frederick Sturkow, will be awarded commercial astronaut wings from the FAA. Earn his wings. There was a long-held view that 62 miles is the boundary of space, but Virgin Galactic considers 50 miles the boundary since that's the threshold used by the U.S. Air Force and other U.S. agencies, guys. I'd go with the astronaut's opinion. Yeah, he's yeah. okay. I've been here before. This looks like the place we want to go. We, we want to go? 50 miles. <laughs>